some parts today from China, all the way from Dangsheng Road. It's a company called Sunpi Prototype. I really don't know what to expect. Let's see. It's really not bad at all. I'll take a look at the dimensions later and uh, see how accurate this, this company is. Pretty impressed. For like 10 bucks a piece. Check out that, huh? Tight fit. <clears throat> These two together, 20 bucks. Took eight days to get here, and it's not half bad quality. If I was to buy these from an American company, this alone is like a buck twenty just to make the prototype. A lot of times they don't even make just the one. You gotta order it fifty or a hundred. So I mean, I'll go with this any day, it's not bad. That's fucking smooth. Looks like they sanded it a little bit here just to get these two to mate. I mean, and I made these intentionally, really tight fitting. That's what you get if you pay a couple hundred bucks. That's not far off, really. I mean, well, this is this is nice. So you got this. These guys, American company, three days you get this thing, but you're gonna pay, you know, a couple hundred bucks. You go with these guys, some P, something, 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 you get this, 20 bucks. All right, so I'm just gonna run through and see how close these guys got to the dimensions that I spec'd. Here, this link's supposed to be 1.405 inches. 1.414. So they're about 9 thousandths off. Not bad. That meets block tolerance in most of my companies I work for, though. All right, this diameter here, 0.299, close enough. 
Let's see what the square is. 2476. Okay. Let's go from here to there. It's not straight. Basically a hundred and seventeen thousandths. Let's see. One fifteen. One fourteen. Which is good, because I have to press fit a, a magnet in here. Which is three millimeters. So you want a little bit smaller diameter to press fit it. That's pretty damn good. The one thing that was pretty off was the overall. I showed you that. Yeah, like nine thousand is too big. I mean, which ain't bad for going across the world, low drawing. Let's see this guy. Call it one point zero zero nine. <laughs> Fucking A man, look at that. One point zero zero nine. Point zero two four. Two thou off. Hmm, closer. Looks like one thou or half a thou. Point one eight one.
though, too. Fuck, I mean, that's good enough for me. I'll take that any day. Let's see how they did on here. Steps. Point four zero two. I mean, really, it's not bad. <laughs> like, usually you get what you pay for, but I'm, I feel like I'm getting a lot for what I paid for. Well, there you go. Chinese parts. I don't know if the stereotype's true or not. I mean, I don't really think so. Look at this. Really not bad. All right, so I don't know if you can see this, but here's a kind of a price breakdown of all my quotes that I received. So the highest price to make 50 of them, 50 total of each, each of those two parts I'm showing you. If you make 50, the price per each one. The highest price, of course, is an American company, and that's Proto Labs, and they do pretty much the best prototype work. You can get if you just want one or two of them, they're gonna hook you up, and they do a nice job. But to do the whole project, those two parts, three thousand six hundred and thirty-four dollars. Get them in the mail; they're perfect. But the company that I received parts from today, Sunpi, whatever it is, China. Nine dollars a piece. Same, same other, uh, same part from the different company. Fifteen dollars. The other part, eleven bucks. American company, fifty-seven dollars. And if I really just wanted to make one of them from the American company, the part that was nine dollars eighty-four cents in China, eighty-two sixty-eight in America. And the other one, eleven eighty-two in China, one hundred and fifty-three dollars to make in America. I mean, on a budget, fuck it. I mean, this, this company kicks ass. Thanks for watching.